And you support a lot of academia, which is a very important another discussion. But كل واحد بيدينا نصيح نصيحة مش اتنين نصيحة تقولوا للعائلة إيه. Can I just say something about Baba. that? <laughs> Show them your book. Um, I think this is a book, it's a monograph, and it was produced, uh, co-produced by the Sharjah Art Foundation, the Africa Institute, and Skira. Um, and that was the point that I was going to make. This one and a poetry book of the first English translation of two collections, it was published by Banipal in the UK. I think depending on the trajectory that the artist is on, but in already the healthy fetari yani this didn't cost me anything and nor did this one cost me anything. Um, so there's a path sometimes when you're lucky that you're on and the right partners are um, championing you. Um, organically things do happen. There are other costs, of course, and that goes back to what you were talking about, the, the, the archives. Um, yeah, right. obviously, we, we cover that from the profit that we make from, from sales. So all of that is self, self-expense. Yes. Um, and nasaih. Nasihah. Yani humma yimkin talata. Awil haga, you need to gather every single piece of paper, sketch, noted mazika, piece of clothing, every single item. It may not seem like it's important today, but today you don't know anything. It, ten years from now, you'll know better. Uh, it might be of use to you then. And, and it, it completes a picture that you need. You're telling a story that you will need later. You'll need those details. So collect them, but don't just collect them. Classify them. Be scientific about it. Date everything. Give dimensions to everything. Specify medium, wh whatever it is. Uh, be very scientific about it. Uh, number two, digitize all this information and make sure that it is in the kind of document that you can break apart neatly and send components to whoever is asking for details or information. Um, High-res images of everything. And Talit Haga, I think this is the most important thing, and this is the marhala lana fiha delwati, and that is how to um, take care of all of that that I have now gathered. Um, so make sure that things are cared for, that the paintings are not on top of each other on a wall, exactly. that the place is not, not cleaned. Exactly. Uh, exactly. That uh, the, when you're dealing with works on paper, the that you're story. not handling them without white gloves. Um, you're creating value. And if they're not handled with the respect that they deserve, you're taking away from that value. Yeah. Manuela, one advice, please, not three, just one. I want to say something about us, including everyone else who ever has a work by Paul, Ayu. that we are the current uh, custodians of these artworks. They're not ours. They are everybody's. And currently, we're the current people that get to see them and uh, work with them and hang them in our homes. But it is extremely important to care for them. Yes. We cannot, someday you're going to sell your painting or somebody's going to inherit a painting and if it's all crumbling down and it's in bad condition and it's not being restored properly and restored with the right people, not Min Maken. Some people have restored paintings and just to destroyed totally destroyed it. the work. So uh, care about these artworks is super important and never think that this is yours forever. Uh, even us, we're here now, we're doing all this work, but I already think about myself, what, who's going to be after me? So uh, I want to make sure that I, as she said, digitized everything, uh, put them out there in books, in documentaries perhaps, all the video interviews that I have of my father have been digitized. And On your website, and you, put can them, put, you have a great you website, know? by the way, and I, so even Ahmad Morsi has a great website. Samir, one advice? I just want to add uh, to what was said uh, till now that uh, it is very important also to uh, uh, try to connect with the, the other artists or people with, with which your uh, parent was connected uh, because they have documents, they have many documents, uh, photos, letters, uh, videos, uh, 
paintings. I, I, when I come to Egypt, every time I meet uh, people who have some work or some documents, and I ask them to share with me, and I make photos. Yeah? And the second thing I want to say that we have a, 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 a short term in this life, so we have to find the way that all this stuff comes for future generations. And there we have a very, very big problem that we don't have support of the states. Not, it's not only the Egyptian problem, it's all world, world problem. That uh, uh, I, I told you that we have uh, 50 works of Abdallah in the uh, Museum of uh, Cairo. You have uh, other artists also, and there, most of them are in the caves. Uh, something has to be done to preserve all this for the future. And here we have a serious problem. We cannot answer this individually. Yeah. It has to be a collective answer. So I suggest that there would be a kind of uh, net, um, network gathering together families of artists, um, collectors, uh, institutions, and all this together to find a way to protect all this stuff for the future generations. Because if it is not protected for the future genera generations, it will disappear, and that would be too bad. Yes, one last word, because I think any any artist family who's doing this job and you? or foundation is putting together our uh, entire region's history. We've been marginalized long enough. Oh. We're very much behind. We're not like Europe, where the artists had galleries and uh, critics and all of these things. Uh, we went through wars and uh, we got dispersed and all of these things. And now, this job that we're rushing to finish, you know, we need all the support together to do. We need to advise each other, help each other, and we need to educate the entire world about our artists. Yes. We need to first educate ourselves. Fix our house. Let's and then, then yes. the the we need to do it first. And we need to do it first. And we need to do it first. And we need to do it no, that is very, very important. I was saying to collect, uh, connect uh, uh, families, artists, uh, and very important to introduce in this stuff professional people who have no interest at other places because when you mix your uh, commercial interest with this kind of stuff, you destroy everything. It's very important to... to uh, <laughs> To, to give the possibility to uh, people who are uh, professional in, uh, in archives, in uh, art story, and, and, and to be part of the process. Thank you so much, Eddie Laish Lachabezu. I love what you said. We have been defined and been preserved. The Arabic language, and this has to be a good community. فأنا مبسوطة إن إحنا دلوقتي هناخد بريك أنا بشكر مانويلا جت من بيروت شيرين مرسي it's lovely to always have you and learn so much from you سمير I wish you all the best you're doing a fantastic job and to Taleta are really models لكل الفنانين العرب إزاي to protect your dads must be very proud of you ناخد بريك عشر دقايق وبعدين هنا القاهرة نشوف اللي يحصل